Hey everyone, Charles here, and today we are playing more Fire Emblem 3 Houses for the Nintendo Switch. So, last time we just got attacked by some bandits, discovered, discovered, discovered that Edelgard, Claude, and Dimitri were students of the Academy and were getting attacked as well by these bandits. And then we met this soldier, Alois, over here, and then this man. And they brought us back to this uh, temple area, the, the monastery, that's what it's called. And that's where we are now, and this is Lady Ray, if you didn't know. Now, let's continue. Jesus Christ. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you? Okay, that was it. It's a quest. So it says, uh, speak to the three leaders and gather information about the students in each house. The students can be found in the reception hall of the first floor and throughout the Officers Academy. You should speak with every student you can. This might be your only chance to see what they're really like before you become a professor. May I and I did not accept you? it. Boom. We did it, though. And, yeah, it's just quests. You can see where they are. And these two have something to say to me. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Alrighty. So, well, yeah, we became, the, we became the professor instead of that one guy that ran away from the children. That was a really good choice on their part. Oh, the mini-map. Uh, if I press ZR, it zooms out. Like that. But we can just continue on. This is the reception hall. That's it. Okay. L Linhart seems laid back. Ash is the best. Totally unpre unpretentious. And Lorenz is a true noble. Okay. Pity. Uh, okay. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbalk. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Heck yeah, I do. So we can look through. We're gonna look through all of them real quick. And so yeah. Me? Well. Some think I'm a bit distant, arrogant even, but there's little to be done. One day I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Oh, do we now? So, yeah. Uh, so her defining ability is multi multiplies experience earned by 1.2. Her strengths are swords, axes, Authority and heaviness. I don't know. That's heavy armor. It's more like and she really sucks at bows and books That's not books. That's faith. I believe So she's more likely to be like I don't know. I'm not gonna put heavy armor on her um, That's not my plan at least But maybe things will change and she's mostly just strength Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child you may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. Alrighty, this guy. I like his pants, they're pretty baggy. But uh, he's a magic user. Yeah. Oh god, his sprite, his eyes are closed and there's a little sprite there. Okay, so uh, his defining ability is Officer Duty. Grants Might plus 5 Gambits. Strengths, Bows, Magic, Authority, stuff like that. 
and, and the rest. Axe, weakness, axe, faith, flying. Ferdinand. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Iyer, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is perhaps too pleased with its own status. Alrighty. And let's see what he's got. He is mostly a he is a lance user, in my opinion. His defining ability is confidence, grants him hit slash avoid plus fifteen when he's at full HP. Pretty good. He's good at horsing, being a horse man. Yeah, axes and swords. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. And Linhart's defining ability is Catnap. If the unit takes no action except wait, it recovers 10% of max HP, which is pretty good. He is going to be our main healer and magic user. He's the second son of Count Burglis. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Alrighty, he is going to be one of our other tanky characters. His defining ability is going to be Born Fighter. Adjacent foes suffer to avoid 10, minus 10 I guess, during combat. Mostly axes and fists. That's basically it for him, he's not that special other than that. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry, I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Bernadetta! Oh my god. So, for the, the, her friends call her Bernie? I feel so bad, because <laughs> Bernie Sanders and all that stuff. Oh my god, she's weak to so much. She's good at lances and bows. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, her strength is actually really well. Good. Jesus Christ. Okay. I see there. She's going to be our sniper. And her defining ability is Persecution Complex. Grants five attack when the unit's not at full HP. She's Count Varley's own Oops. I did not mean to do that one. Dorothea. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers' Academy. See, that gives me the question. So, can't miss so was her name. Like, I'll show a picture. But, if they, I, they're both from famous uh, opera companies. So, doesn't that mean they could be, like, from the same one? Maybe even related? Eh? 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 Her, her, she's mostly going to be our magic user. Uh, I'm trying to gonna. I'm gonna try to teach her faith, so she can be another healer slash magic deal user. And her defining ability is songstress. Adjacent allies recover ten uh, ten percent of their max HP at the start of the turn. A few commoners. She's oh, a song. I did it again. Petra, final and last one of the to red the or the black eagles. an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Alrighty, Petra. Gonna just be there. She's mo she's pretty fast. So her defining ability is Hunter's Boon. Grants crit plus 20 when a foe is less than or equal to, or no, greater than or equal to. I don't remember. Oh, what sign that is. It's been a long time since I've been in school, guys. And her strengths are swords, axes, bows, and flying. So, yeah. Th that, 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 she may be like, uh, Wyvern. Wyvern, yeah. I think, uh, user. I th that's, mo that's my guess in my head. But, we're done talking to her. Oh my god, that was a lot of work. Pardon me. Oh, what do you have to say, sir? Greetings! 
You must be the new professor. What a pleasure. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Yeah, so lighthearted. Yeah. And by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. What a sad life to live, but he's great. Okay. Okay. I see where he's going. Um, uh oh. Oh, this is, the, I don't know. I don't really need the, the, the whole, like, spiritual thingy, okay? So, Claude. Alright, so honestly, honestly, in my opinion, his house well, has the worst. scored a Wait. teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Yes. All right, so as I was saying, all the male characters in this house look disgusting. Except for Claude. I don't... Like, that's disgusting. His hair's all messed up. He... I have sympathy for him, but like, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the buff guys in this game. That also includes the one from the Blue Lions. And, I don't know, I don't like him. And like, all of these, like, these uh, four girls have really interesting personalities and all. But like, ugh. It's, it's, it'd be really hard to play this game. On their, their, their team. I don't know. I don't really like the way most of the boys in this guild looks. Uh. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I, I should do I that anyways. I'm, I'm guessing... Have you met the folks from the Golden... I just should, like, look at everybody real quick. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. Alrighty. Uh, he's gonna just basically be our bone, our sniper. Yeah, we can give him some. Maybe he maybe he can be a Pegasus sniper. And he has a Lester Legion lineage. Sorry, uh, gains him multiplies experience by uh, earned by one point two. Coolness. Yeah, that's it. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. But like, look, I don't, like, just look at that face. That's a face only a mother can love, okay? I don't know, I don't really like the, that he's guy. There, that said, he's okay. there, that said. Sorry. And... Distinguished House. Unit deals two extra damage while in formation with a battalion. Sickle mode. Damn, damn it. <laughs> Keep on doing that again. Alright, strengths. Lances, books, I mean, magic, and horsies. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Nah, actually, that's about it. Alright, so I don't actually have any problems with him. The only problem I have is that his shirt doesn't fit him. Oh, keep on doing that. He comes despite all. Yeah, his shirt doesn't fit him, and that's the issue here. God damn it. Alright, so yeah, I don't really like that his shirt just doesn't fit him. That's the only issue I have. Other than that, I like him. He's nice. Goody baskets of sweet ass ability. I said ass, didn't I? Well, a chance to recover up to 10% of max HP at the start of each turn. Trigger percent slash luck stat. Okay. Yeah. And his strength is 11. And he's going to base. Alright, sorry about that. I just yawned. So he's going to basically be our tank here. He's good at the axes, the fisty cups, and heavy armor. That's it. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, 
doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Alrighty, we got Ignaps. What a bad name. Automatically failed the, there. Strengths, swords, fl uh, not flying, uh, bows, and authority. Gosh. He's gonna be, he, he, he can be a swordsman, and like, he's gonna be like, yeah, I don't know. He's not gonna be the guy who, who's, he's not the tank. He's just gonna be the, do, deal some powerful damage when needed. The second Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> Alrighty. I don't have any issues with her, honestly. She's gonna basically be in the healer for this group of peeps. She's also good at authority. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Alrighty. So, is it bad I forget about her? <laughs> like, I like her and all, but like, I forget about her. Is that bad? Okay. Like, when I'm like, when I'm playing by myself, I'm just like doing my thing, running around. And like, I was like, oh yeah, you, you exist. Is that bad? Yeah, alright, her defining ability, animal friend. A re unit recovers up to 20% of max HP at the start of each turn when adjacent to a cavalry or a flying ally. Alright, I forgot to... I forgot to, like, explain what her defining ability was. Lysithia? Lysithia? Oh, God. Uh, mastermind. Double skill experience earned in battle. So, basically, she can learn new stuff pretty Lysithia, easily. Lysithia, but watch out. Lysithia, so, but watch that's out. actually a pretty good thing. It's just that she has so many weaknesses. <laughs> All right, Hilda. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Wow, what a... What, what, wow, what a just like a throw into the bus that was. Jesus Christ, that was messed up. Alrighty, advocate. Adjacent male allies deal three extra damage during combat. Sick. She's good at spears and axes. She's bad at faith and authority. Makes sense. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. Alrighty. So, I don't know. She's... She's... I don't know how to explain it. Like, like she's she's pretty. Good. She, I don't know. She won't. She's like probably gonna be the same as Ignatz, where she's gonna be a Pegasus knight basically, with, with the ability to use arrows. So if a male ally is adjacent, unit deals two extra damage and takes two less damage during combat. She's pretty. So that's pretty cool. That was it. Yeah. And finally over here. Dimitri. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm caught. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I accidentally messed that up. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? Heck yeah, they did. Alrighty, let's go from down this me? line. Oh, um, please forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me. But I understand if that can't be helped. Alrighty, Dimitri. His strength he's mainly just strength. Uh, he's got swords, spears, and authority. He's basically just cavalier. Er, I made him cavalier. 
but you can do whatever you want with them. All right, Didu. Didu was born in Dusker and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Alrighty. Didu. He's basically gonna be an armor knight for ya. That's it. <laughs> he's pretty bulky. He's like the Hulkamaniac over here, or I guess that's Hulk Hogan. Alrighty. Oh. So Dimitri's uh, defining ability is gonna be the, like, whatever kingdom he's from, alliance, or like, lineage. And it gives him uh, 1.2 XP boost. Alright, Staunch Shield. If unit takes no action except wait, it grants for defense. Plus four defense for one turn. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. Alrighty. So Felix, he's just the same as Igni Ignitz and the Bernadetta. Bern the only difference is that he's able to use hands. Fisty cups, that's what I meant. Whatever. Gauntlets, that's what they're called. And his defining ability is Lone Wolf. Unit deals 5 extra damage when no battalion is assigned to him or when the dirt is zero. Felix is the he's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar. But I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Alrighty. Ash, he's basically going to be your marksmanship. Not your marksmanship. You're like sniper. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's able to just use a big axe, though. <laughs> Alright, his defining ability, a lock pick, allows you to open doors and chests without a key. So he can be a pretty good thief, but he can't become a thief. I guess he can. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a... <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. What a legend. A skirt chaser. Alrighty. He's, he's gonna be a cavalier, basically. It's a pretty good class for him. Uh, I'm just going off where the strengths are. I, uh, I didn't use I didn't do that on my game because I I started over with uh, the blue lions. All right, his defining ability, philander. Alrighty, defining ability, philander. If a female ally is adjacent, unit deals two extra damage and takes two less damage during combat. I hear she was born to imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. She's basically going to be your magic user. And she's she's like a mother, basically. Yeah, that's it. She's like 23. 22. Live to serve when a heal... That's the defining ability. When healing an ally with white magic, unit recovers the same amount of HP. It's really useful. Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She's cheerful and hardworking. Brilliant, really. Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Jesus Christ. Alrighty. So, yeah. Uh, so, in my, so she's basically going to be your sorcerer. That's it. Who can use an axe sometimes? Nothing too special. So, uh, her defining ability, Perseverance. Use Rally to grant strength plus four to an ally. Is Pretty She's cool. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. That's pretty cool. She has the strength of swords, lances, horses, and flying horses. No weaknesses. So she's pretty great. And her defining ability, Lady Knight, grants three might and plus five hit with gambit. Jesus Christ. Alrighty, and that's all the houses here. 
We did it. Oh my god. That was tiring. Um, no. Oh, whoops. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. Hmm. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Which house to choose? Dun dun dun! This so one. You have yep. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Vodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh! I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. Alrighty. Best girl right here. No doubts about it. She's pretty cute. The only, the only bad part is her brother. I'm in the middle of something, Flane. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is... Alright, skipped a little bit there, but all he says is that is all. Wait, so our new professor is... you? I didn't see that one coming. Easy, Caspar. <laughs> Aren't you being a bit rude? You know it's a waste of time to expect politeness from him. It will be a pleasure learning from you, Professor. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to take a nap. Uh, 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 okay. <laughs> don't look at me like that! Oh, and please don't talk to me too much either. Jesus Christ, what did I do to her? I'm sorry for the chaos you've walked into. I hear we are rather close in age, Professor. I hope you do not mind if we treat you like one of us. In our class, we try to treat each other as equals, despite any differences in age or status. Personally, I would love to include you in that inner circle. I don't mind at all. You have a gut, Professor. I will take great joy from your teachings. Alrighty, she's pretty great already. Petra, I believe you mean to say that our Professor has guts. That's a bit different from having a gut. You can't go around saying someone so slim and attractive has a gut. Oh, wow, thank you very much. Oh, uh, please take my apologies. I have not yet mastered this language. Professor, I want you to know that it's perfectly acceptable for you to treat me as you do the others. I may be the Imperial Princess, but here at the Academy, I'm just another student. That said, know that I have high expectations of you, and high hopes, but I'm certain you can lead the Black Eagle House to greatness. Sure, sure. Now let's break the ice with a training session. I want to see our new teacher in action. Why will the ice be broken? Is this a custom I have missed in my studies? Not real ice, just the ice of, um, well, it just means let's get to know each other. I don't want to train. Let's stay in the classroom and uh, learn from a book. Let's all calm down and have a nice cup of tea, how about? Doesn't that sound lovely, Professor? Why is he asleep still? Like, why, like, isn't it technically class time? I know we all agree to treat each other as equals, but there is a limit to what I can tolerate. The esteemed Black Eagle House requires order.
Looks like your first job will be to quiet down this racket. I don't envy you. What a jerk. He looks like a snake. Like, he's just literally like the eyes of a snake guy. The, the hair of the, like, of the snake guy. Uh, not normally this rowdy. She's like embarrassed about everybody. Professor. Heck yeah, I can. I'm the best professor, professor that you can ever hope for. Alrighty. So, since we're not finally dealing with dialogue, I think it's a good time to end it off. <laughs> oh my god, I hate myself so much. But yeah, this video, I don't know. I didn't know a good way of doing it because I wanted to show you guys all the characters and my opinions about them a little bit. And I feel like this video, since they show you all the characters, is a good way of doing it. Alrighty. There are new places to explore in the monastery. I got a thousand G's. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't well, you don't know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything, absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. Oh, Jesus Christ, how much are you going to talk about it? Crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. They are said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. And you believe I have a crest? I suspect as much, yes. But we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Do... do what can you... wait, what? Do what you can to find out. There's no need to look into it. Yeah, let's look into it. Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? To think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! Ahem, <clears throat> pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, your work here is done. Hmm, what could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... I love the shimmering in his eyes in right world? now. Oh, I see. It may be connected to that, but to a greater degree than usual. So he was right. I did need to clear my calendar because that wasted the entire day. God. Prevention. Alrighty, guys. Professors of the Officers Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Alrighty. So I already know about that. So, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry that this one, this video wasn't really that, like, like, a video. I don't know. It, it wasn't that much action. But we did learn more about the houses, I guess. That's good. And next time we'll get into exploring. 
and I'll show you guys about that, and then we can talk about it. So, I do hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, please like, subscribe, and hit that. Next time, we'll be doing some more Fire Emblem Three Houses for the Nintendo Switch. So, see you guys then. Bye. Reach for my hand, I'll soar away into the dawn. Oh, I wish I could stay here and cherish heart.